Now that you've downloaded PyCharm, we're ready to go ahead and install it onto your computer. Now, this video, I'm going to go through all the steps for installing and setting up PyCharm on Windows. If you're on a Mac system, then go ahead and skip this lesson and you'll find the walkthrough on the next lesson. Once your download has completed, go ahead and click on the exe file if you're running on Windows. And then you're just going to go ahead and follow the wizard. And if you want to have an icon on your desktop, check the checkbox to add the launcher and then go ahead and click next. Now leave everything as the default and click install. Installation should only take a couple of minutes. And once it's done, you can go ahead and click finish. Now you can double click on the icon to open up the program. And the first time you do so, you'll need to agree to the privacy policy and choose whether if you want to share data with them. Now you get to pick your UI style, either dark mode or light mode, and then you can skip all the rest of the setup. Now to test it out, go ahead and create a new project and name it whatever you want. But the really important thing is to click the project interpreter drop down and under base interpreter that you select the latest version of Python that you just installed, which in my case is Python 38, which stands for 3.8. It'll take a few moments before your project gets set up. And once it does, you might see a little pop-up that says something about Windows Defender. If you see this, then go ahead and click fix and click configure automatically. If you don't see this pop-up, then don't worry about it. Now you can go ahead and right click on your project folder and select new and then new file. Now we're going to create a new file, which is going to be called main.py. And in this file, we're going to test it out just by writing a hello world that will get printed to the console. And once you're done, then go ahead and click on run and then select the main.py file to run. And the console should now pop up and you should see hello world printed. That's it. You're ready to start working with PyCharm and you should be able to use it in the same way that you use Repl.it.